Braith Engineering in Suffolk for over 50 years has been producing casting and also machining their own castings. However, they've embraced new technology with Grob. Chris, thanks for the invitation to Braith Engineering. Now, you guys have got a heritage uh, in castings, but tell us a little bit about the whole of the company here. Okay, well, Braith has been manufacturing castings and machining castings for over 50 years now. Um, the industry has changed in many, many ways, and we've had to adapt and modify what we do to try and keep up with the times. Uh, with regards to machine tooling, Braith has always been very keen to invest in new machinery and new plant. But historically, when I joined the company, I found it as a repeat on previous processes like a three-axis mill, three-axis lathe, and your basic kind of uh, machine tools. Therefore, when I started, I started to look at outside the box towards the five-axis machining about how we can then work, hold our parts, and sort of machine the parts in one operation rather than the, the current historic seven or eight operations that we currently do. Speaking to a lot of engineers over the past uh, number of years, I've understood that actually machining casting is not necessarily an easy practice, is it? No, it's definitely not. And at Brave, we specialise in the high alloy, super alloy castings. Um, naturally, they are very abrasive on the cutting tools. We've got many, many years of experience within the shop on how to machine all the materials that we cast. Your latest investment, the Grob G350, with a turning application here now. Tell us a little bit about that journey, why you chose a Grob, because when I look through your machine tool hall, it's a big jump from sort of three axis to a, a Grob machine. It is. Um, I was kind of limited on choice because of the kind of setup that I wanted. I wanted more of your basic kind of five axis mill, but with the luxury of being able to turn a component at the same time. A lot of our parts that we manufacture, they have some kind of spiral gasket or gasket feature or internal threaded feature that naturally is just easier and quicker to do on a lathe. Therefore, to have the combination of both milling and turning on one machine was just no question, no, well, it was no question for me. I had to go for it. And it's quite interesting. I know Grob UK are selling a lot more of these machines in, let's say, a general job shop. But when I look at some of the components that you're uh, producing here or, or cutting for customers, I, I understand that one operation uh, has, has gone from seven ops down yeah. to one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, our biggest trouble is that because of the way a casting is made, we have to do a lot of proof machining, final machining. So that can take numerous weeks just to go around the shop to get all those operations complete. With what we're doing on the Grob now, we can put a casting in one day and know that a day or two later, it will be fully machined, complete, and can be boxed and sent to the customer. And tell me a little bit about the uh, backup and support that you've had from Grob UK. Right from the very concept of when I first sent the inquiry out to Lewis at Grob, he was very receptive. He got his first applications engineer available to me within a month. We started discussing the project and that sort of took speed very, very quickly. And within, I think it was three months, we were doing cutting trials on a machine with our components, with our fixtures. And, you know, from there it was a no-brainer on what, what machine tool we were going to choose from there. And I think to a certain extent, when you look at the type of components that you're actually machining here, you know, the overhead machining element yep. and a horizontal, it's got to be a very good marriage, isn't it? Oh, yeah, completely, yeah. It, again, once I saw the Grob and saw what it could do and how it machined a component and the support that Luke at Grob was giving me, I, it was... There, was, there would be no reason for me to go with anyone else. But also looking at uh, the, the portfolio customers that you actually work for, I'm, I'm sure this machine is giving you the opportunity to offer capacity to other customers? It is, yeah, yeah. And that's, that's sort of where we want to take it to now. We, we offer quite a good quick ship sort of process to our current customers, but we want to expand on that. Um, it's got to include the casting, because obviously the foundry is a big, big part of what we do here. Um, but to incorporate the machining and what we can do with the full five axes now, it's, yeah, we push, push, push. And I know many companies that uh, have had Grob machines, when you've had one, they seem to fill up the, uh, the rest of the showroom or uh, certainly the shop floor, I should say. Yeah, yeah, I'm already ring fencing the space of which is going to go in and uh, trying to nag for the uh, finances upstairs. It's all about planting that seed upstairs, isn't it? So.